now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. Recently, we shared the Android 13 Developer Preview 2 with more new features and changes for you to try in your apps. Some notable features include developer downgrade permissions and Bluetooth LE audio. Check out all the new features in the post. The new Architecture Mad Skill series has two new episodes. First, Jose covers the data layer and its two basic components, repositories and data sources. He also covers data immutability, error handling, threading, testing, and more tricks and recommendations. TJ covers the UI layer in this episode of Mad Skills. Learn about the UI and the creation, management, and consumption of its state. For ongoing content, be sure to check the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or the handy landing page that points to all of it. There are two more episodes in the Integrate with Android TV and Google TV series. First, Miguel and Ada Kunle discuss the basics of Google account linking and different ways to integrate for Android TV and Google TV. Next, Paul explores the best practices for integrating and validating media sessions, the unified way for Android apps to interact with media content. Last year, Google introduced a collaboration with the World Health Organization to build an open source software developer kit designed to help developers build mobile solutions for community health workers in low and middle income countries using the Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources Global Standard for Healthcare Data. Read the article to learn more about how this SDK can help you create apps to aid community health workers. Adoption of large screens is growing rapidly. To help people get the most from their devices, we're making three big changes in Google Play to enable users to discover and engage with high quality apps and games. Ranking and promotability changes, alerts for low quality apps, and device specific ratings and reviews. Read all about it in the post. In this article, Lauren talks about Android Vitals, which are a way to track how your app is performing in the Google Play console. Now, there are new use cases for Android Vitals, which include building internal dashboards, joining with other data sets for deeper analysis, and automation troubleshooting and releases. Learn more about the new Play Developer Reporting API and how to use it in the post. The Jetpack Core Performance Library in Alpha has launched. This library enables you to easily identify what a device is capable of and tailor your user experience accordingly. As a developer, this means that you can reliably group devices with the same level of performance and tailor your app's behaviors to those different groups. This enables you to deliver an optimal experience to users with both more and less capable devices. Check it out in Don and Francois' article. Let's take a look at what's been up with Android X releases since the last episode of Now in Android. We have a few libraries in Alpha 1, including Activity version 1.6, Custom View Pooling Container version 1.0, and JUnit GTest version 1.0. Car App version 1.2 and Media Router version 1.3 are also in RC01. That's it for this time with Android 13 DP2, Mad Skills Architecture, Android TV and Google TV Integration Series, FHIR SDK, Large Screens, Android X releases, and more. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.